Our company's mission is to lead the international introduction of Cascara-based beverages. Uh, we want to introduce a very premium Cascara product that's both nutritious and tastes good. So our product is based on a naturally processed Cascara. So all of our Cascara is from coffee fruit that has been dried whole, 14 to 21 days. It then rests for 90 days, and then we remove the husk from the, from the seed of the coffee. Um, and it has to meet certain nutritional and flavor standards in order to be used in our products. We call it a premium sun-dried Cascara classification, and we test all the Cascara before it goes into our products. Our initial target audience is coffee consumers because we feel coffee consumers will have uh, the most awareness of Cascara products. There's uh, a lot of education that needs to go on with consumers. One, uh, introducing to them to the fact that coffee does come from a fruit and Cascara is the dried portion of that fruit. The market opportunity in our opinion is huge. We think Cascara will be one of the next big um, billion dollar beverage categories. It has all the components that are trending right now in beverages. It's plant-based, low sugar, healthy, has a strong functional component, um, and we think it'll follow a similar trend that uh, kombucha, cold brew coffee, coconut water have followed over the last few years. We just introduced the product in October of 2017 and really didn't get going in the U.S. market until February of 2018 this year. So we're in a very, very early growth stage. We're at this point introducing the product to the trade and consumers, but we're actively opening up accounts and moving into distribution across the U.S. The biggest surprise since we launched was the amount of beverages that are present in general in the market in the United States. There are so many beverages on the market that um, even though Cascara is a new ingredient and what we feel to be a new category, you really have to break through the noise against all the other beverage launches, launches going on at the moment. Okay, so for our, our investors, we're both looking for investors from a financial standpoint, but also investors and partners that are strategically important to our growth. Um, investors and partners that can contribute to the distribution. One of our early angel investors owns a major distribution company in Latin America, and we're working on that launch right now. Um, but as we go across the U.S. and we go into different rounds of financing, um, of course, we look for the pure money investor who's looking for a, a good long-term investment, but also strategic investors, particularly distribution partners, that want to get more involved in the business. We consider ourselves to be one of the early movers in the Cascara category, um, but we're much more involved in the Cascara topic than a lot of companies. One, we're the prime company in, the Europe, in Europe right now, in the European Union, who's trying to get Cascara approved um, to be legally sold on the market. So we've done a lot of research the last three years to support the claim that Cascara is a healthy and safe product. Um, I'm a former Red Bull executive, so I've been through this process before of introducing a brand new category and a new beverage um, to several markets from the U.S. down to Latin America. Um, and even though I don't think that gives us any initial advantage, I think all startups have to go through the similar steps. It helps us scale a little bit and shoot for certain points and certain targets that we think are critical for strategic international growth. Thank you.